What's going on everybody? Ask John here. So today, uh, earlier I have been thinking about this question is that why so many foreigners have different opinions on China? Some are on, more on the pro-China side, some are more on the anti-China side. Now my conclusion, you know, I've been thinking about this for a while, is that it has a lot to do with their own specifics, their own issues like their status, their job, their income, and sometimes even their own like origin or upbringing. Because, you know, China is, a chi is, is, is China, but you have different feeling towards him. When you look at these people, um, if you like, divide them into two category, categories one is like pro-China side is one is anti-China YouTubers now those who are pro-China YouTubers to me like they are more successful alright they are content they are satisfied with their life in China and some many of the time their business is very very you know closely connected or interacted with China or Chinese people. But on the other side, you have other, the other kind of YouTubers who most of them are just English teachers that teach kids. Many of them are illegal teachers also. And some of them don't even have a job. So when you think about when you look at their life, they don't have a job, they don't make a lot of money, they live in just from paycheck to paycheck. So I mean it's just like Chinese, you know. I've been you know, I'm Chinese, I know what is going on here. In China, among Chinese you also have those who are pro China, who are who like the government, who like the party. And you also have those people who are not who are against or who don't like the government. And um, for those who like the government, most of the time they are the like the beneficiary or the like the benefit from the system. Either they work, they are the public servants, or like their families or their businesses, they have to deal with the government. And believe me, there's a lot of people like we call it a tiji tiji nei There's a lot of people living inside this system. The system is that you know, as long as the system is running, they 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 have no they, they don't have to worry about their job because the government the, is feeding them. But you also have a lot of like um, just regular people. People like you go to the store, you see them, you you buy some snacks on the street, you see them, and some you know you see like the delivery people, the uh, cleaners on the streets, like these are like the how to say it, you know just, uh, regular people. Many of them are living like in the bottom of society. The the life is hard, so many of them, you know, they they probably, you know, they have complaints, but they just don't say it. Because, you know, this is China, you know, and um, and often a lot of complaints online can't be seen because, they, you know, they, there are a lot of censorship going on around the China internet. So just, just like Chinese, you have foreigners complaining about China and you have Chinese complaining about China but you don't see it quite often as foreigners because on YouTube you can see pretty much whatever you can say but on China social media almost every post every comment is being seen it's either by the machine or either manually by, by a person by a moderator right so I don't actually I don't blame some of them for hating China or don't like China because 
no. Naturally, China is a developing country. It has uh, issues, and you know, for example, for a for a person like coming from a developed country like can uh, Canada, America, or Sweden, I'm sure they will find more problems than a pro uh, than a person coming from Africa. You know, people coming from Africa, they see ah, oh, China is a、uh, full of opportunities, but. For for people like coming from America or Sweden or Norway, they will see ah, there's a lot of pollution. People are, there's, there's a lot of chaos going on, right? So I don't blame them, but also I want to point out that like all these people, they all have their agendas. They all have their agendas, whether they are pro-China or anti-China. You know, you know, this is like. Like like U.S. politics, everybody is you know it's it's very polarized, right? Whether you like whether you have an opinion that is whether popular or unpopular, you also you have、uh, you you do have a group of people that follow you, and、uh, yeah, you could always find some somebody online that think alike like you, right? So that is why you know, even though like some people, they, it, it, to me it, it appears like they are like stupid and they don't know what they are saying, but still they have a lot of following. Like to be honest, I don't. I think like the stupid follow the stupid, the big t- the big tit follow the big tit. The people that have you know preconceived notions about China always try to find some people that think like them to. Uh, solidify or to consolidate their views about China. But let me remind you: don't be fooled by these YouTubers. They just selling you stuff. They just like saying something like you want them to say. And a lot of times, you know, those people all have Patreon. You know, just because you know, I think you, 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 I think you are saying something I want to say doesn't mean that I have to donate to you. Like even like Guilao Sixty, he, you know, he his Patreon said that he want to donate money to the poor children in China, but I never saw him doing one. I saw him going in China, outside all China, all China, traveling in Southeast Asia, but I never saw him. Well, very rarely, very rarely, I saw him like donating money to children. But on his Patreon, this is what he said. He said that the money is used to for the children. But really, and as much as he claims he loves China, when the virus spread in China in the beginning, he ran away very quickly. And when things are out of control abroad and、uh, When the pandemic seemed to be under control in China, he quickly came back to China. I mean, what what does that make you look like, man? I thought you 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 like pro China. I thought you would stick with us, but when shit hits the fan, you are the first to flee, right? All these people, they all have this Patreon, the PayPal. You know, some people once their video is demonetized, they have their comments pinned on top. Ah,、oh, this video is demonetized. Please consider donating to my Patreon. Blah blah blah. Some people say like, ah,、oh, you know how dangerous I am doing this in China, so I don't get the money from the、uh, videos. So please consider donating money to my Patreon. So that I could travel to Yunnan, you know, my short-term goal is four hundred yuan, four hundred dollars a month. I mean, come on, man, it's not that expensive to travel to another city in China. If you really want to go, you you have to go. You can go. You don't really have to make up excuses. All right. Yeah, like I said, it's to me like I'm Chinese. I know what is going on in China, outside China. I I can see, I can read in Chinese and in English. 
no problem now i see all i see it through this like you know the real people in this sector the realest people or the honest people is to me is like uh daniel dambrio he could speak fluent english and we see him communicating with chinese very fluently another dude uh Nathan Rich, he's also I'm, I think he's also a good guy, but sometimes I just to me like something is too good to be true, all right, and uh, you know, Spencer, I know he's he has his agenda, but I do admire that you know he's uh, he's good at Japanese and his Chinese is okay, but not as good as like. Daniel, you know, sometimes he, he's what he said is wrong, but uh, is right, and sometimes he's wrong. It's just you, you have to, you have to have your own spine. You don't have to, have to be like a like gullible sheep that just follow them. All right, so that is what I have to say in this video. So, thanks for watching. I'm out.